Hello, glad you stopped by. Oh, what's this I'm holding in my hand? This old relic? This crumbling piece of parchment? Oh, don't tell me you haven't seen one of these before. Of course you have. It's a map. Remember these? You used to find at least one in every glove compartment and every vehicle on the road. Not so much these days, I guess. Not when you have the technology of GPS available to you. Not when you have someone, or something, like a Ruth. What do I mean by that? Well, press on with us and find out. This episode from our four-part series, The Ride Sharers, was unearthed from our vault of unreleased gems. It was taped live in New York City on December 16th, 2018. I am very excited to welcome to the stage a very special guest. When the rakishly debonair singer-songwriter Man About Town, Tom Shainer, heard about the theme of our show this evening, he couldn't resist sharing with us a great song of his. Once we heard it, we knew we just had to share it with the rest of you here tonight. With us to perform his original song, careless driver is the gentleman drifter himself tom shaner thanks alan been a careless driver down the highway of my days I did not know the road curved so many ways I've been a careless driver turning down lost roads never was the kind to do what I was told Careless driver, that's been my style Some call me foolish and some Call me wild A careless driver zigging and a zagging to go any slower I feel my spirit sagging I've been a careless driver through the cities and the towns there was no other way to get around Careless driver burning up the miles Think it's time to get out now and walk For a while That was Mr. Tom Shainer, a true friend of Fireside Mystery Theater. Let's give him another big hand while we reset up. Thank you, Tom. Anyone here need a ride? Yeah. It's very roomy back here, and our driver, Ruth, is so adept, she can take us wherever we want without even thinking about it. All we have to do is sit back and let her do the rest. Oh, to be such a creature of convenience. Uh, hey, Dad. You want me to turn that over? No, 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 not yet. Please. Come on. I'm only trying to help. Leave it, Philly. Dad, 
How many times do I have to say, I prefer Philip? I'm the one who named you, so I'll call you whatever the hell I want. It's gonna burn. I said leave it. Look at the apron, kid. What does it say? Licensed to grill. And I'm the one who's gay. <laughs> You're funny now. Dad, speaking of which, I've been meaning to ask. I... Well, I'd like... I think it's time that you met Lenny. Sorry, I'm not interested. Excuse me, I'm not that? interested, kid. But when I came out, you said you accepted me. I thought that... Yeah, that, that yeah, yeah, you... yeah. Look, it's a free country. Do what you like behind closed doors and all that and all that jazz. I, I, I don't need to see that. You got it? Lenny's a good guy. It's not like we're going to have... Hey, hey, oh! I don't want to hear it! Dad, you're not being... Philly, ra- you're, look, listen. You're my son, but keep all that rainbow gay stuff to yourself if you don't mind, all right? But, Dad, I... <laughs> Phil, what did I just say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're queer and you're here. You know, I get it. Well, look, I don't need all that in my life right now. This is a very tight-knit neighborhood. Everyone here knows each other's business. I don't need to hear that kind of chit-chat flying around all over the block. Dad... Steak? Oh, crap, it's burned, damn it! Whatever. I love how you just throw things like that away. Just, just throw it away. Screw it. I'll tell you, I know exactly how that steak feels. Oh, my God, you are your mother's son. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say something inaccurate? You said something disrespectful. Your mouth, kid, watch it. Look, I gotta get ready to get out of here. You're driving tonight? Yeah. How's that working out, driving for Schnell? It's a great company. There's lots of opportunity. It's like being your own boss. You're doing well with that? I mean, it's starting to pick up. It could take a year before you start to see any real money. But I hear a lot of things about those Schnell drivers, about how they're getting screwed. And, and that, that CEO of yours, Albans, who you idolize, he's kind of controversial, no? Controversial? Why? Because he shakes things up? Because he doesn't toe the line? He doesn't play by the same old rules? Rules? They're called laws, Dad. Frederick Albans is one of the top CEOs in America. The world. You can't begin to imagine what he's worth. I've read differently. Then you read wrong. Men, real men, like Frederick Albans, are creating jobs and opportunities that... Look, I don't have the time for all this. I gotta go, kid. Someone needs a ride. Yeah? Yeah? Is that right? Know what I would do to that silly broad? (laughs) Sir? Ba-ba-boom-ba-bing! Sir? Sir? Yeah, what is it? I can hear every word of your conversation. Excuse me a second, Max. You can, huh? Well, you don't gotta listen, you know. It's not the most pleasant conversation either, I can tell you that. Some of the stuff you're saying is pretty offensive. Offensive? What did I say that's offensive? Wait. Don't even answer. You're one of those types who's offended by everything, aren't you? And I think you're driving a little too slow. Because you're a little, uh, too wrapped up in your phone call there. I'm using a hands-free Bluetooth earpiece. Yeah, you are. And it's kind of annoying. (laughs) It's kind of annoying. All right, listen. Uh, Max, I gotta call you later. Thank you, sir. Yeah, sure. Hey! Hey! What's the matter now? You just threw your fast food bag out the window. What's wrong with you? Oh, calm down already. Who does that? Oh, I'm sorry, your highness. You ought to stop the car and go back and pick that up. No, you're ridiculous. You're disgusting. You're getting out of here. What? Get out. You're going to make me miss my plane. I don't care. Beat it. I'm getting your name. Yes, I am. Tony? Tony, what's, what's that last name? Get the hell out. Now! I'll have your job, I swear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get lost, meathead. Don't slip. Oh, yeah? Well, back at you! Loser. I definitely don't need that kind of aggravation in my life. Oh, well, look at that. One door slams, the other one opens. And that passenger is only, what, 15 seconds away? More like four, three, two, one seconds away. Hello, my good man. What? It can't be. But it is. The big boss! (laughs) Mr. Albans! My friends and I here need a ride. Think you can take us downtown? It'd be an honor, sir. I mean, please, please, allow me. I appreciate that, Tony, but remain seated. Uh, We can let ourselves in just fine. 
Tony, this is Messrs. Vernon and Jackson Ames. The Ames brothers are great friends and supporters of Schnell. Ah, then they're all right with me. Get in, fellas. How do you do? Hello. Scoot in a little more, Vernon. Where are we going, then? Just a short drive to 22nd and 5th. Oh, that's it? That's it. Right-o! This is your car, Tony? Yeah, you like it? It's very nice. Nicely kept. It's American, too. Most of these other jokers buy Japanese models. Not this guy. Commendable. What am I going to do? Pick up passengers in a Kia Sentra? What are you, out of your mind? <laughs> You're not a smoker, are you, Tony? Me? No, no. I, I, you used to be. I mean, not anymore. How long have you been a Schnell driver, Tony? Almost a year. Do you like it? Like it? I love it. Why do you love it? Well, I like making my own hours, being my own boss. Being your own boss. Interesting. Write that down, Jackson. Already did. Lots of opportunity to grow, do new things, meet new people. Meet new people. Tony... You know, every day, at least I try every day, to take a trip with someone from our fleet to see how things are going. Get inside their heads, see what makes our drivers tick, hear what they have to say. You know what I really like, Mr. Albans? What's that, Tony? I love how you're your own man. You don't let people mow over you with all this namby-pamby nonsense out there today. What do you mean by that? He shoots from the hip. He's not afraid to say what he thinks. He's kind of like me. That's because Mr. Albans is a disruptor. He makes it possible for people like me, who were actually born and raised in this country, to feel proud again to do this kind of jab. Thanks for saying so, Tony. Schnell puts a lot more real Americans to work instead of outsourcing to all these America-hating, non-English-speaking losers. That's something we've been trying to drive home behind the scenes as well, Tony. America first is one of our core values. Damn straight. Now we're talking. If you don't mind my asking, how old are you? Fifty-four. Has driving folks always been your line of work? Nah, I was a cop for a while and then you know, some other things. A cop? Yeah, I gave it up. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't for me in the end. I'm happy here behind the wheel for Schnell, and I mean that. That's great, Tony. You can let us out around the corner here. You got it. This will do here. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Tony. As you already know, Tony, we greatly discourage tipping here at Schnell... But in appreciation of your time and helpful input, we have a little reward for you. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Wait here. Someone is going to come down from the office with a little something extra for you. Can you wait a couple of minutes? She'll be right down. She? <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Naughty boy. Behave yourself. Good luck, Tony. Take care now. I think you're really going to like it, Tony. Dare I say, love it. Wait and see. You will give me your feedback, won't you, old boy? You can't just tell me what it is, Mr. Albans. Why ruin it by doing such a thing? <laughs> I'm gonna live in, huh? What could it be? something extra for old rough around the edges tony well we'll have to find out just what that is in a moment first my friends i gotta talk to you about your sheets have you been using the same few pairs of sheets you've had for decades no judgment but come on they may be soft now after a million washes but they're also frayed and faded and have holes in them well, what do you think about getting cozy, snug, and toasty this winter in a new set of buttery smooth Brooklinen sheets? Out with the ancient bedding, friends. You can ride out the cold winter months in style and get a better night's sleep with Brooklinen. Brooklinen was started by a couple who tried to find beautiful home essentials that didn't cost an arm and a leg. And when they couldn't, they founded Brooklinen as the first direct-to-consumer bedding company. So they work directly with manufacturers to make luxury available directly to you without the luxury level markups. Brooklinen has a variety of sheets, colors, patterns, and materials to fit your needs and tastes. And Brooklinen is much more than sheets. They've got comforters, pillows, towels, even loungewear. 
Lately, I've been crawling into bed a little earlier each night and lingering a little longer each morning since I've cozied into my very own set of Brooklinen Luxe Sateen sheets. They are so silky smooth. They truly do feel like luxury. And they look as gorgeous as they feel. I am not alone in my ravings. Brooklinen has over 50,000 five-star reviews and counting. They are so confident you will love their products. They even offer a 365-day money-back guarantee. Hey, we're still in the midst of a pandemic. Gift yourself or someone you love a blissful night's sleep in premium quality and comfort without the premium cost. It's called self-care. Go to brooklinen.com right now and use promo code FIRESIDE to get 10% off your first order and free shipping. B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot com and enter promo code FIRESIDE for 10% off your first order and free shipping. Brooklinen.com, promo code FIRESIDE at checkout. Now let's get back to see what Tony's up to in Anywhere You Want to Go. Guess what happened? I met the guy. The guy. The big chief. <laughs> uh, I can finally have a smoke. Uh, yeah, you know, the guy. No, the boss. The boss. No, dumbass, not Bruce. My boss. The head honcho, Frederick Albans. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a big deal to me. Yeah, what do you know? How much did you make last year? That's what I thought, you bonehead. All right, wait a minute. This mu- that must be her. Hold. That she's coming this way. Look out. Hey, Maxie, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, are you looking for me, right? What's the matter? What's with the funny look? Um. Uh. I think you're looking for me, Mister Vazone. Oh, jeez. I got confused there. I thought that other girl was. There. My name is Susan Williams. I'm. I'm a developer for Chanel. Yeah. Is that right? Mister Albans asked me to give you one of these. Well, what is it? This is just a stage three prototype we've been working on. Yeah, but what is it? Oh, well, it says they're on the box. It's a Tyron 361L advanced tracking and GPS system. Okay, it's a GPS system. I'm familiar. Oh, yeah, but this is probably the most advanced GPS system ever created. Yeah, I know. They say that about all these gadgets. Whatever happened to just being familiar enough with your surroundings? I really need to use these things, you know. Well, uh, Mr. Albans has personally selected you as a beta test user. A beta what? You'd be the first driver in this state to try it. Really? Is that so? It's pretty cool distinction. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Hey, if Frederick Albans wanted me to drive around town wearing a tampon taped to my forehead, I'd do it. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> here's the GPS, if you want. I can go for a short drive with you and assist no, no, you. No, no, that's all right, hon. I think I could figure it out on my own. Oh, okay, uh, that's fine. I, I would just recommend trying it out on your own first before you pick up any passengers, just to make sure. <laughs> it's important that you read the manual before you I try- got it. N- no, really, Mr. Vazone, it-, it doesn't take more than a few minutes. I got it. I got it. Thanks. You're, you're welcome. Also, there's a survey card that we'd appreciate if you filled out. I got it. Great. Oh, and please, uh, thank Mr. Albans for this. I mean, this is this is mine to keep, right? Oh, well, let us know how you like it first. <laughs> so don't try to sell it on eBay just yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right got to run. So sorry. Um, have a great ride. Um, let us know what you think. I got to say, I'm pretty proud of the work we did on this one, but <laughs> I won't overhype it more than I already have. <laughs> Good luck. A GPS. Well, all right. Let me see what that... What's with all this styrofoam peanut crap? What the hell is this thing? Pretty slim little doodad here, all right, for this stupid box. Out you go. For crying out loud, of course, 
another lousy Schnell hack. What is up with you dum-dums? A real two-for-one deal for the city, huh? Public littering and standing in a loading zone. Oh, officer, I was picking up... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, is that Tony? Barbara! Yeah, it's me! How the hell are you, doll? Wow. What's up, Tony? How long has it been since they kicked you off the floor? Hey, oh, hey, I resigned. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, come on, you're not really going to give me two summonses, are you? Well, I should give you three for letting your engine idle here under that other sign that says, oh, what does that sign say? No idling? But I have a heart, and I can't help but take pity on you seeing you're reduced to driving for Schnell. Hey, it's a good gig. If you say so. You're not going to give me those tickets, are you? You're parked in an illegal zone, you tossed your garbage on the sidewalk, and you've been running your engine for well over 15 minutes. That being said, I just might get a lot more satisfaction scolding you like the lame-ass man-child you are, so get out of my sight, you low-life disgrace, engine-idling, wannabe, tough-guy, litter bugging loser! <laughs> you know what? You still know how to hurt a guy, Bob. Thanks, punk. Pray I don't catch you on my beat again. Scram. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh, man. Barbara. That spicy little kitten. <laughs> Hurt me, baby. <laughs> so what do we got here? This is obviously the on switch. All right, that works. Please select from one of the following. British English. Uh, I don't know. Espanol. Oh, God, no. American. American. You selected American. Yeah, damn right I did. What the hell's this thing made, anyway? China? This is a Tyron 361L advanced tracking and GPS system created exclusively for the Schnell Company. My name's Ruth, which stands for a Roaming Universal Tracking Hardware System. To answer your question, I was made right here in the USA, Tony. <laughs> Wow, this thing is cool. Right on. Finally, something worth the crap manufactured right here. Hey, wait a second. You just call me by my name. This model represents the latest advances in AI and voice pattern recognition. Tony, your voice, as well as your fingerprints, have already been used to collect and compile your personal data. Really? <laughs> when was that? There have been several instances. One was when you submitted to the screening process in order to work for the Schnell Company. It was? Let's take a trip. I really want to show you how I work. But first, I think it would be best if you removed the adhesive strip from the back of the device and placed me somewhere on the right side of your dashboard. This thing is something else. Go on. Unzip me. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> I can see you fine just holding you in my hand like this. It's not safe to drive that way, Tony. Oh, God, you're just like a real woman. I'm sorry. Please remove the adhesive strip and place me somewhere on the right side of your dashboard. You can, you can stop repeating yourself now, Ruthie, all right? My name is Ruth. Please remove the adhesive strip and place me somewhere on the right side of your dashboard. Just you stop it already. I don't want to glue you to my car. What if this doesn't work out and then I have to give you back? I'll have all that sticky guck and glop stuff on my dashboard. You know how hard it is to remove that stuff? Please, Tony. Please remove the adhesive strip and place me somewhere on the right side of your dashboard. This is a safety hazard. Not doing it. Let's try this later. I'm turning you off. How does this thing turn off? Please remove the adhesive strip and place me somewhere on the right side of your dashboard. <laughs> oh, oh! Please do as I instructed you, Tony. You... You just, you just stopped the car? I did. How the hell did you stop the car? It was a safety precaution programmed in case of such a dilemma. I didn't mean to startle you, Tony. The Schnell Company has asked that you cooperate with the parameters of our beta testing procedures. Now, please remove the adhesive strip and place me somewhere on the right side of your dashboard. Thank you, Tony. Now then, where should we go? I'll leave it up to you. You pick our destination. Anywhere you'd like to go. <sighs> Drive me over the side of the Brooklyn Bridge for all I care. All right. Here we go. All right, hey. hey what's going on here? I, 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 didn't, I didn't press the gas. You have chosen self-driving. No, 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 I haven't. 
We're going over the side of the Brooklyn Bridge. What an interesting choice. Estimated time of arrival, 19 minutes. Wait, 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 you're not serious. Well, it may take 25 minutes. I see there's an accident up ahead on the FTR. Wait, wait, you, 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 you're not really going over the bridge, are you? No, we are. What an interesting choice. Right into the East River. We can't do that. Please tell me you're not serious. You have chosen self-driving mode, Tony. Isn't this fun? No, please. Turn off the self-driving mode, Ruth. Please. Sure thing. All I need to disengage self-driving mode is the access code. The access code? Which can be found on page 1A of the user manual included with this product. Oh, the manual. Don't tell me I threw it up. What an interesting choice, Tony. Here we go.
that was Anywhere You Want to Go. The cast featured in this episode include Eric Davy Gislason as Philip, Michael Pate as Tony, David Linton as the disgruntled passenger, James Kleinman as Frederick Albans, James Reeser as Vernon Ames, Alan LaForest as Jackson Ames, Casey LaForest as Barb, the traffic cop, Mary Murphy as Ruth, voice of the GPS, and the part of Susan Weems was played by me, Ali Silva. The song Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell was performed by Martina De Silva, accompanied by Brad Whiteley. And the special musical treat at the top of the episode, Careless Driver, was written and performed by Tom Shainer. Anywhere You Want to Go was written by Sylvan Sandovar and directed by Holly Payne Strange. Our live show and podcast are produced by Gustavo Rodriguez and me for Fireside Mystery Productions. Our musical score was improvised and performed by Brad Whiteley. Our sound effects designer and engineer was Greg Russ. Our technical director at the Slipper Room was Johnny Goddard. Jason Graves composed our theme music, and I manage our audio post-production. This series may be one unearthed from the vault of previously unreleased and given a good dusting and polish, but we're also in the midst of crafting brand new audio delights for you as we adjust and rejigger our production model. It is the support from listeners like you that stokes our fires and helps us to burn long and bright into the future. And being a Patreon patron is how it happens. A contribution through Patreon, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars or more per month, can provide the vital lifeblood we need to keep doing this thing we do. Hey, we know, times are tough, so you can only do what you can do. But when you become a Patreon patron, not only do we have infinite thanks for you, we also offer things like discounts on merch, personalized postcards from Sunken Harbor, a snazzy Fireside Mystery Theater enamel pin, And now, when you become a patron at $5 or more per month, in addition to access to exclusive bonus content, we are now offering new episodes ad-free in our exclusive Patreon feed. How about that? Learn all about it and become an FMT Patreon patron today. Go to patreon.com slash fireside mystery theater or just follow the link on our website. We thank you for any support you can give to help keep our fireside flickering. As this holiday season keeps moving right along, we hope that for all who celebrate, you had a lovely and safe Thanksgiving. In spite of the scary roller coaster we've been on called 2020, we at Fireside Mystery Theater truly have much to be grateful for. We are grateful for all of our listeners and especially grateful for our Patreon patrons. Super huge thanks to our newest patron, Casey Davenhill. Casey, you are now a member of the esteemed cabal that stokes our fires to keep us warm and fuzzy while we endeavor to put more demented tales into your ears. You are fabulous. So, now you have listened. Have you subscribed yet? It's the easiest darn thing to do now, so I hope you have. You know what else is easy and goes a long way to support us? A rating and review. Go on and spread the good word of our audio drama loving ways, friends. And do be sure to find us and give us a holler on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Fireside Mystery. Our performance stage may have gone dark for the 2020-2021 season, but that doesn't mean we aren't still doggedly driven and determined to deliver deliciously dark diversions to your socially distanced eardrums. Stay tuned for all new, yes, all new content that is being creatively crafted and suspensefully stirred at this very moment. You will not be disappointed, dear listeners. Slow down, reduce your speed. You may not be the same once you pass through the tunnel. It's the next stop on our mysterious journey with the Ridesharers. Hey, your car is here. Oh, we know you'll tell your driver to take the fastest route, but do be sure to mind the shadows. 